the GeForce RTX 4080 just released last week and we are already getting news that it's not selling well. Which is not surprising at all since the 4080 is objectively bad value. Yes, objectively. Let's take a look at the 4080 from a price performance perspective. But not only for us as consumers, we will also take Nvidia's point of view into account. And without spoiling anything, Nvidia is trying to have its cake and eat it too. The easiest way of judging the value proposition of the 4080 is by comparing it to previous generations and see how the new generation stacks up. The GTX 1080 launched at $599, which was $50 more than the MSRP of the 980 and offered 63% more performance. The RTX 2080, I am comparing the Super Refresh, which replaced the original one, increased the MSRP to $699 and delivered about 46% more performance, but also introduced hardware rate racing, which is why the actual speedup is hard to measure. You can see that TU-104 came with a massive increase in die size, because Nvidia basically had to use the same process nodes as with GP-104. Still, with a die that was over 70% larger, the MSRP only increased by 17%. The 3080 came with the same $699 MSRP of the 2080. But to be fair, due to the chip shortage starting shortly after its launch, it was never really available for this price aside from a few lucky people. Still, this is the MSRP Nvidia was calculating with. Same MSRP for an even larger 102 class die and another decent speed up. I included all the previous generations because I think that this comparison is really powerful as it shows you how insane the MSRP increase for the RTX 4080 really is. It delivers a 48% speed up over the 3080, which is very much in line with previous generations and while the new TSMC 4N process node is expensive, the die size of the 8103 chip is well below that of the 3080 and even 2080. We do get more VRAM, which isn't cheap, but still, it's a smaller die and the MSRP got raised by over 70%, basically opposite to what the 2080 and 2080 Super delivered. And those cards weren't value kings either. The 4080 does not deliver an exceptional performance increase. If anything, it's quite average for gen on gen improvements. It does not come with an insanely large die size, which could explain the increase in MSRP. On the contrary, it's back to normal size chips with 8103. The $1200 MSRP has no relation to performance or production cost. It's such a disconnect, you have to start to question Nvidia's pricing strategy and basically anyone that is buying this product. And it gets even more ridiculous if we compare the 4080 to the 4090. We all know that ultra high-end cards come with a price premium. You have to pay a lot more money to get the last few percents of performance. No one is expecting a good price to performance ratio when buying the fastest GPU. But with the RTX 40 generation, Nvidia just didn't seem to care. In 4K, the 4080 delivers about 75% of the performance of a 4090, while the price is also 75% of the 4090. As a result, in 4K you get about the same value no matter which GPU you are buying. Or in other words, the 4080 has the same bad price to performance ratio as the 4090. It's priced as a ultra high end GPU, but it's actually an 80 class card. But wait, there's more. While the 4080 MSRP is 75% of the 4090, Nvidia's production costs are actually much lower. You get 59% of the CUDA cores, 66% of the VRAM, and 62% of the die size. And the die size comparison gets even better if you consider that smaller chips have higher yields. Nvidia can probably produce more than two 8103 chips for the same price as one 8102 chip, which means it should be less than half the cost. But they want 75% of the money for it. So not only does the 4080 not deliver a better price to performance ratio than the 4090 at 4K, at MSRP, the 4080 is a much better deal for Nvidia because it has a larger margin. And to top it all off, the 8103 chip the 4080 is based on is also binned by about 10%, similar to the 4090, so you are not even getting the full chip while Nvidia is milking you. All of this just shows how true the saying is, that there are no bad products, only bad pricing. The 8103 chip is a really nice piece of hardware, packing a lot of performance in a very manageable die size. The 4080 does offer better efficiency than the 4090 and delivers good 4K performance at 320 watts. If Nvidia was using a full 8103 die, a possible 4080 Ti could be even more efficient and deliver even more performance. 
but this insane MSRP just kills the entire card. The 4080 should have the same $699 MSRP like the 3080 and 2080, and at this price point it would offer good value. Then at a $799 4080 Ti with a full 8103 chip on top, and you have a decent lineup. I think the number one reason for this pricing is that Nvidia is still sitting on a lot of Ampere GPUs. And no one would buy a 3090 or 3080 if the 4080 would be offered at an even close to reasonable price. I really hope that the upcoming 7900 XTX from AMD consistently beats the 4080 and forces Nvidia to lower the MSRP, at least below $1000. But I wouldn't count on it. And while AMD's pricing does seem more moderate, in comparison, it's also way too high. Let me know what you think about Nvidia's RTX 40 pricing. With the previous 80 class cards in mind, do you agree that the 4080 pricing is not just high but almost insane? Did you expect that Nvidia is making more money on the 4080? And what is your guess on the 12GB 4080 aka 4070Ti pricing? Leave a comment down below, I'm always looking forward to your input. I hope you found this video interesting. If you did, you know what to do and see you in the next one.